Let's start talking about another talented guard on this team. And that's going to be the one, Emmanuel Quick. So you can see Emmanuel quickly. He's definitely started to percolate as the season has progressed. And if the Knicks continue to go on a run, it is not outside the realm of possibility that he could end up being, you know, voted or get some votes for sixth man of the year. And I think Emmanuel quickly might be, he might be not, I don't, I don't want to say the most impactful, but he's the most meaningful in terms of how our momentum shifts from game to game. Uh, if you look at some of the stats, when Emmanuel quickly is knocking down the three and I win, he's shooting 37, right around 37%, 38% from three when we win. And when we lose, he's only shooting about 32% from three. So there's right around a 5% differential in terms of, of how he shoots in games we win or lose. And one of the big things he was looking at coming or talking about coming into the season was getting that field goal percentage up over 40%. And he's done that so far. He's shooting 44% uh, from the field and he's shooting 35.3% uh, in total from the three point line. And you look at the guys that he's going up against brogdon he's been playing well for uh the celtics powell been playing well for the clippers and maxi you know his backcourt mate from his time in kentucky is playing well as um as well uh guys like brick brook he'll probably fall out of there because i think he's starting for the clippers now so he probably won't factor in much but you also got a guy like ben matherin so it'll, it's a pretty competitive race for sixth man of the year but you know the paces are starting to fall off so i expect matherin to fall back as well so quick could definitely get some votes and he might even win if the knicks can continue to, to to play as well as they've been playing so far yeah and like we said the last 20 if he gets hot gets in a groove gets those you know that points field goal and th a three point percentage up a little hey i have no problem hey he's averaged 40 uh, 39 percent from the field goal up to 44 yeah that's development before our eyes folks we want you know like we said uh his last uh, uh, five games and last 20 games stretch. He's shooting much better than the 35, three that you see there. And also what it th th this doesn't talk about is that elite defense. Yep. So, uh, game changer D that, that, uh, possession against Kuzma the other night, he's going against a monster in height and length. And he's giving him all this trouble on his on his uh, handles, reaching in with that great uh, wingspan of his, and just that tenacity. And when he hit that three, the way he looked at the crowd, mm -hmm. yeah, he's pure New York man. That's he's a keeper. And like we said, just let's be patient. We have him under for four point two million next year. That's chump change, man. Let's just watch his development. We've seen him with his left hand. We've seen the short midi this year. We've seen, you know, you know him break into the basket, uh, just doing all these things, adding to his game. He ups that three-point percentage more consistently, and plus that defense, plus everything else. He's a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Mm -hmm. and we talk about we talked about a little bit the the highlight play he had with julius randall that was all set into motion by his solid defense getting the strip and you know in, uh initiating the fast break he also had a solid block too i don't know who it was that he blocked but somebody had got the uh offensive rebound and he didn't give up on the play like we've seen other players do he stayed yeah. he, he stayed with it got that block and it ended up going the opposite way and uh and and we were able to get a good look at the basket uh talking about uh quick and how he's been performing uh his three-point percentage over the last 14 games he's been shooting 41.9 percent from three so he's That's been going crazy uh field goal percentage 48.3 percent from the field and he's averaging 13.4 uh points and right around 30 minutes per game so quick has been balling recently and i know someone mentioned that norman powell he's been playing well uh for the clippers but i think emmanuel quickly has been playing his ass off as well and i think if you know people really look at it in an unbiased way Emmanuel quickly definitely deserves some votes for NBA Sixth Man of the Year. I know there's no if, uh, question. <laughs> there's no question. Absolutely. He's everything that, you know, yeah. when he first came in, maybe a, a Lou Will type of player and stuff like that. Lou Will never played defense like that ever in his whole career. So uh, he has the upside on uh, quickly is even higher than Lou Will. Mm -hmm. uh, also, Nick Yak says quickly is next to last on the board uh, shooting. It's not helping your um, your argument. But he had a slow start. You know, you gotta. I won't deny that he definitely did have a slow start. But you've seen how he played in the last fourteen games. He's been playing. He's been an elite player off the bench 
in, in recent games. So if he can continue to do that for the next 20 so odd games, I could definitely see him shoot up the uh, the list when it comes to the NBA Six Man of the Year award. And also this live stream is sponsored by BetUS. So you can always head over to BetUS.com and you can put, uh, you know, $10, $15 in on the manual quickly and see if you can make some money. I know I'll be doing it. Yeah, I like the way you think. Deserve Bet you USA for the money. All right, so let's move forward. 